the word Marxist, I think people have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like socialism, they don't know what they're talking about. No, no, most don't. of these words, most people don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. But Marxist, I find to be the one that people really just have no concept yeah, yeah. of what they're talking about. So first, can you just define what a Marxist is and then just tell me a little bit about your journey. Marx was, now here's where I get my right-wing friends, just, they go nuts. I say Marx was the greatest social scientist in the 19th century without compare. And all my friends at the, at the Hoover Institution go, ah! <laughs> and then I say, but he got everything wrong. And then my friends on the left go, ah! <laughs> Which is why I haven't got any friends. <laughs> The life of a classical liberal. It ain't easy. It ain't, it ain't easy. easy. Well, you're pissing off people on the pissing both off sides. people on both sides. Yeah. Now, the, the 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 basic idea of Marxism, of course, is that history has a particular pattern, and that ideas come from that pattern, from that material pattern. That the class struggle is central. The history of all hitherto existing societies, to quote the Communist Manifesto, is the history of class struggle. And if you believe that, and you believe that ideas are just epiphenomenal, that they, they just come from your class position, which is what Marxists are supposed to think, then you'll be a follower of Marx. And, and oddly, from about 1890 to about 1980, nice symmetry there, yeah. most intellectuals in the West were some kind of Marxist. Even the conservatives were. Even the conservatives believed that material interests were what determined ideas. Mm -hmm. Whereas my claim, and the claim of a growing number of uh, historians and, and uh, uh, especially historians, is that no, no, ideas themselves have an influence, an and independent influence. And the idea that all men and, and women, dear, are created equal is a, is a terrifically powerful idea. So it's that egalitarianism of 18th century liberalism that I'm trying to reinvigorate. Mm -hmm.